Tom, I gather you've been uh, working with universities to help evaluate and monitor this work. Could you tell me about these relationships, how they started and what's happened? Yeah, I can. <laughs> um, I suppose setting up People United and also our first, our first projects, we were always aware of a couple of things. One, that we wanted to understand whether our work had made a difference to people. It's really important, you know, that we set up this organisation and this mission. We need to know whether we're doing good work or not. So I was very keen about that. Secondly, I was very keen that our work was underpinned by knowledge and academic understanding. It's fine talking about kindness, but well, what does that actually mean? What's the theoretical underpinning of this? How does that link in with studies that have been going on? So we wanted to root that in proper knowledge and proper learning. And I suppose on top of those two, two aspects, there was also a thought of our first project, it was important that we tested that out and that we understood, but we also researched it well, because otherwise people were gonna say, Tom, you set up this organisation, you're running this organisation, you're just a big hippie, aren't you? You're not doing lots of fluffy and lovely stuff about people being nice to each other and kindness. Um, but where's the evidence? Um, we wanted that for ourselves, but we wanted also that for other people, because what we're keen about with People United is that it is ambitious. We do want to change the world. We do want to make it a better place, and I don't think there's anything wrong in being idealistic and wanting to make the world a better place. But linked to that, we also need to be professional and pragmatic and understand whether we're making a difference and to challenge ourselves around that. So that's where I got involved with the universities. We, we work with them on some of the theory, but in our schools project, we work with them in a number of ways around evaluating whether our work had made a difference. So we work with Christchurch University, looking at qualitative work, interviews, case studies, looking at some of the spirit and some of the things and the themes that had come up from the work. But we also worked in, in even more depth with the University of Kent, worked with a PhD student and with the social psychology department, looking at more quantitative work around whether the work over a period of time had made a difference to people's attitudes and behaviour. The results of that were fascinating. Um, the qualitative work was, was really useful and it gave us um, gave us a rounded story and one of the key things that came up was that the work had been a great catalyst for parental involvement within the schools. The quantitative work was fascinating as well and was, it, was a, it was a new area for us at that time and they did it in a huge amount of depth so they interviewed one-to-one -one interviews with every pupil in years one, three and five at each of the three schools we worked with before the project started, during the project, after the project, and then six months down the line as well. So two terms and a summer holiday after the project had been completed. And they didn't ask questions about uh, the particular project. They asked questions about values and about attitudes and behaviour. Would you share a spade with someone in your class? Would you share that with someone in another school? Um, questions around empathy, questions around how they felt being part of a community, whether they would help one another. Um, so they did this with the three schools, before, during, after and then after a period of time. But not just with the schools we worked with, but with two control schools as well. Two schools that weren't part of the project, but they could benchmark the early results to see if our project had made a difference. And what the results show, not in a, a revolutionary way that you'd walk in and you immediately notice a difference, but in a consistent and significant way for the researchers, there was a clear difference between the schools we had worked with and the ones that hadn't been part of the project. Um, the schools that were part of the project showed an increase in um, willingness, what they call pro-social behaviour, so willingness to help other people but also a more positive attitude towards outgroups. So not just your own internal class, but with children from other schools and other communities. Um, 
And so these results have been written up, they've been presented at um, academic conferences in the UK, in Europe and also in a number of um, high profile psychology conferences in the United States as well. So it's fantastic from us as an organisation to both do the work we love but also to have some theoretical and academic backup to the work that showed that arts and participatory work had made a real difference in those communities.